Darren, a uh, good 1-0 win over Maidenhead. Just give me your thoughts on the game. I thought we deserved it, to be honest. Um, maybe should have done a little bit more in the final third with one or two uh, opportunities and need to still need to be a little bit more ruthless with, you know, because 1-0 is always a tricky scoreline. But having said that, you know, we've got the goal that I felt we deserved through our play. I thought we were, I thought we were dominant today. Um, and then uh, I have to give a lot of credit to our back four, stroke five, because Maidenhead, in all fairness, without being disrespectful, looked like they was only really going to score from a set piece. Um, and we stood up to it. And with, with the team that was out there today, not, not the biggest team, in all fairness, my team, I mean, um, but everyone put bodies on the line and put their head. You now we cleared one off the line and people were flying in front of shots and that. Obviously, it's what they've got to do, but it's nice when they do do it. Um, and, and obviously, Lochi back there as well, marshalling it all. So loads of credit to the back five for keeping a clean sheet. And the two in front, I thought, were very, very good. Charlie and JT, some of JT's play today and some of his passing was excellent. So it was a good all-round performance, but me being me and how and the boys are now how I am, I always want more and I, I want us to be better, but we was good today. And obviously, Maidenhead sat quite deep and really tried to frustrate. Um, was it about being patient, particularly in the second half, and waiting for that breakthrough? Yeah, and we spoke about teams coming here with different game plans. Obviously, Torquay came here the, the other week and got after us from the first whistle. And then other teams come here and, and choose to sit deep and try and counter-attack. So, you know, we've got game plans for whatever the scenario is. And today we had to be patient, but I thought we moved the ball around really well. But what we spoke about at half-time was one or two different little things, a way of, a way of penetrating a little bit more, if you like. Um, and that played out a little bit, still want more from them, um, but it's hard work. It's hard work working hard, without sounding obvious, but you know, when I want to be a, a possession-based team, and it's hard work to, to handle the ball, because you've got to do a lot of unselfish running, a lot of unselfish movement, and some of our work was really good today, I'm really pleased. And obviously it was Wes's second debut for the club and he came in and put in a really good performance, sort of maybe silenced a few of his doubters. How would you rate his performance this yeah, afternoon? Yeah, listen, I thought he was, uh, ever since he's come back through the door, he's, he's just slipped back into the Wes that we know. He's, he obviously knows everyone here and I, I thought he was, he was very good today. Um, run out of puff a little bit at the, at the end, um, but his contribution was very good. Handles the ball, lovely. Um, but one thing I like about Wes, maybe not today so much, but he's, he, he gets goals. He's got goals in his feet, obviously getting his nine last season. And, and they'll come again the fitter and better he gets over the next few weeks. But in terms of his second debut, if you like, uh, I thought he was very good today. And obviously Loic came in in the defence. And you've obviously mentioned that he had a good performance. But how do you think he really did get on getting chucked in at the deep end in many ways? Oh, listen, in football, sometimes the door gets open for you without you knowing, you know, you, you can't always plan for when your debut is going to come. Obviously, there's there's one or two left backs that are um, injured at the minute and, and, and an opportunity presented itself for him today. And, you know, he's a good kid. He's got good attributes. And I thought he, he, he can be really proud of his debut today. I thought he'd done ever so well. He's a hard worker. He was another one, obviously, with the with the occasion, it kind of led to him running out of steam a little bit towards the end, but he got through it and he can be really proud of his debut and, and you know, I congratulate him as well. And how much confidence do you think Josh can take from scoring his first goal of the season? He put in a lot of effort today, a lot of effort at Eastleigh, so he's finally got his reward. And you know what, he has to fight two big airy centre-halves that are, you know, two foot taller than him um, and, he, and he's, he always competes. He's a strong, powerful boy, didn't get too many opportunities today but the, the, the main one that he got you know he put away nicely and he deserved it because his performances have been very good um, we all know forwards get judged on goals but his performance has been very very good um, and he just needed that goal to get him up and running this season but you know we'll get better he'll get better there's no doubt he's a, he's a great kid he's another one we've got lots of good young players here that have, uh, have got big futures if they listen learn and work hard and uh, lastly on to all the shot on Tuesday, just how much confidence can the whole team and the vibe around the um, squad take into that game? Listen, we, winning football matches breeds confidence, we know that. 
Um, we will, our confidence will be better for back-to-back -back wins now, but there can't be any complacency. We have to approach Tuesday um, very focused, be a, a difficult game, but what we need to do is go and impose what we're trying to do on all the shot and try and keep this little run going and win football matches. That's what we're here to do.